Voters are once again preparing to head to the ballot box, but concerns over election tampering persist. Good evening to you and thank you for joining us for News 10 on My Fox 10. I'm Ron Drell Moore in for Patrice Dayton. Indiana Secretary of State Connie Lawson says she's taking steps to ensure every vote is protected. But her opponent Jim Harper insists more needs to be done. News 10's Heather Good has more in tonight's election alert. Republican Secretary of State Connie Lawson recently announced plans to use more than $7.5 million in federal funding to beef up election security. But her opponent, Democrat Jim Harper, says it's a mistake the plan does not include improvements to voting machines. On the subject of election security, Indiana has earned a failing grade. The Hoosier State was one of five to receive F's this year in an election security assessment. Despite this, Secretary of State Connie Lawson is assuring voters their ballots are safe. Lawson plans to use federal grant money to improve the system, but says there's not enough money to replace voting machines across the state. Her opponent, Democrat Jim Harper, says replacing the machines should be a priority. We have important elections coming up in Indiana in two and a half months, and we should be um, uh, focusing on securing our elections this year. And if the money that's available isn't enough to fix the problem in every county, we should at least be using it um, to uh, fix the problem in as many counties as possible. Harper says there needs to be a paper trail, meaning votes should be cast on paper ballots or a verified receipt should be issued to voters. Secretary Lawson says election security is a top priority and votes will be secure. Election equipment like machines and tabulators are not connected to the Internet and everything is tested before votes are cast. Election day is November 6th. You'll need to register to vote by October 9th. New for you tonight at 10, a 